how do you approach writing the lives of immortal and undying characters? I have been thinking about this so much because I did an event, I did an event at Mysterious Galaxy with B. E. Schwab for the paperback release of The Invisible Life of Adam Rue. And she said this thing about how lots of people write immortal characters as being bored or being trapped or something. And she was like, and I don't buy that. And I was listening, I was like, hmm. Like, I didn't want to interrupt her at the time. <laughs> it was her event. But I think, maybe it's because I'm a person with, you know, the mental illness, that um, I, I do like to kind of explore that feeling of loneliness or the sense that you've outlasted your purpose um, or what even is a purpose. You know, this is something that I probably question because I'm a human and an artist, and so all of my, all of my portrayals of immortals are inherently flawed, you know, just like any algorithm. <laughs> and um, yeah, so I, I, cut, I sort of understood and felt chagrined by what she was saying. Like, she's probably right. But if you have forever, you would find ways to keep yourself entertained. You wouldn't necessarily be bored. But I did want to explore this idea of, um, you know, it, it's funny because the writing of an immortal and the writing of a 28-year-old felt very similar to me. <laughs> the sense that, like, you have a lot of time, actually, but for some reason at the same time it feels like you're running out of time or that you haven't done enough. Um, and, and that sort of ennui is what I was playing with projected to an eternal scale.